to Windows Central and check it out. We got the Windows 10 preview for Windows phones or however you want to call it. It is now out. You can go get it yourself. This is a Nokia Lumia 830 on AT&T, uh, just freshly installed on there. And so we're going to give you that quick tour and show you uh, the different operating system features of the preview. Now, if you want to put this on your own phone, if you want to call it, it is now out. You can go get it yourself. This is a Nokia Lumia 830 on AT&T, uh, just freshly installed on there. And so we're going to give you that quick tour and show you uh, the different operating system features of the preview. Now, if you want to put this on your own phone, you go to Windows Central and you can look up the information about how to do that. Only a subset of Lumias right now can get this, mostly the 730, the 635, the 830. And um, so this is uh, on there and it took us about, you know, 30 minutes to install. So here it is. You got the new start screen. As you can see, you got the transparency effect. It's pretty nice. It's definitely a different experience. Scrolling over to the program list, you can still see you got the transparency in the background. It's a little bit nicer, a little bit more uh, artsy, I suppose. It pops out. Of course, you can get rid of that and just have a black background as well. Speaking of, uh, if you want, there's your action center. And so it looks pretty much the same, although you can see the layout is a little bit different now. It's got these lines drawn through. You can also do this expand thing, so you can fit a lot more up in the action center now, which is a pretty cool idea. A lot more choices there, Bluetooth, rotation lock, all settings device discovery, location, VPN, and I see the layout is a little bit different now. It's got these lines drawn through. You can also do this expand thing, so you can fit a lot more up in the action center now, which is a pretty cool idea. A lot more choices there, Bluetooth, rotation lock, all settings, device discovery, location, VPN, and I might, you could probably even configure that, I assume. Uh, or you can collapse it, we we'll go to all settings, now the settings has also been uh, completely changed here and so it's a very different experience. This is probably one of the main areas where you're going to see uh, the new dialogue sort of system that they're using for apps. And so you can see here, uh, one probably complaint people are going to have is everything is kind of small. And so uh, that's something that may be adjusted later on. But you got here system, devices, network, wireless, personalization, accounts. Now technically a lot of this stuff is the same as on your current Windows device. Uh, it just has a different layout menu. Meaning when I go into system, you can see it has all those same features as you're used to. Your display, notifications and actions, Cortana and search, personalization, accounts. Now technically a lot of this stuff is the same as on your current Windows device. Uh, it just has a different layout menu. Meaning when I go into system, you can see it has all those same features as you're used to your display, notifications and actions, Cortana and search. And then when you go into them, so this is a different, that's a new menu, right? So it's a white background. You have your display, you can do your brightness levels, which is kind of interesting. Automatically adjust your brightness, uh, lock rotation, uh, notifications and action. So now this kind of goes back to a traditional screen that we're sort of used to. So you're going to get that kind of mix of some of these uh, old menu systems with the newer ones. So there's the driving mode that's already been on there. So it's a sort of interesting contrast between the two. Not a whole lot in terms of differences. You do have USB. Ask before using USB data connection, notify me when I connect. So it doesn't look like there's over um, the OTG support yet. I don't know if that's coming or not. So a lot of these menus though are kind of the same. Uh, if you go into though, you can go like personalization and you can do background here. So now you can select the show more tiles or less. I'm not even sure if it actually works on the 830. Actually, let's find out. We'll go back to the main screen. It doesn't really look like it changes anything on the 830, so I'm not really sure that's actually an option. Do background here. So now you can select the show more tiles or less. I'm not even I'm not sure if it actually works on the 830. Actually, let's find out. We'll go back to the main screen. It doesn't really look like it changes anything on the 830, so I'm not really sure that's actually an option or not that's uh, fully in effect. But you can go through and then you can uh, choose your backgrounds here. And so I can go and choose this one and it's going to set it. And see, there's a, okay, now that's a weird bug right there. That just hopped into the Show Wallpaper app, which I used to download some wallpapers on there. I'm not really sure why that happens, but it's definitely an early bug. And I have noticed some bugs in this already, so, it, you know, it's it's true, it's not 100% stable, uh, so you definitely want to, you know, maybe not use this on your main phone, but you can always roll it back. So there is a tool, which we have on Windows Central, that will, um, allow you to go back to your old version should you uh, not like it. Uh, update and recovery, phone update. 
So a lot of this stuff is pretty much the same. It's very f familiar to you guys. Uh, performance, like I said, pretty decent here. Uh, let's see what else we got. So we get your personalization, uh, sounds. So you have your vibrate. So a lot of these is the same menu, just sort of redone. Same with the lock screen. It's got a new menu system, but it's pretty familiar. And if you want your password stuff, it goes under here, under the advanced settings. Probably the big complaint right now, like I said, is stuff like that advanced settings it's very same with the lock screen it's got a new menu system but it's pretty familiar and if you want your password stuff it goes under here under the advanced settings probably the big complaint right now like i said is stuff like that advanced settings it's very tiny the font so it's kind of uh, hard to see what about cortana it is here of course as well Let's see if i can actually get it to launch it looks like it's not launching oh wait there it goes. Looks like I had a little problem registering the, the button tap. So this is the new Cortana, different layout, white background. It's kind of interesting. Um, not really sure how that totally works. Here's a Cortana feedback. So you, there's a feedback system based in this uh, on Windows 10, just like the desktop version. And you can see though how it's laid out. It's a little bit more different. You got your weather, of course. So the menu system is laid out differently. You got the main Cortana icon there at the top. It's now in the center as opposed to the right, and there is a tiny hamburger button there. Uh, it's kind of familiar if you use the Windows 10 preview. You want to see, recognize the same sort of menu system, and they're clearly using the same layout for that. Uh, going to phone, this is also a new dialer here, so you can place and make calls. You can see you also have a speed dial area. And then there's also a new dial pad, which is really weird. Um, at least it's different from the previous version we've uh, been used to, and it's smaller keys. You can see you also have a speed dial area. And then there's also a new dial pad, which is really weird. Um, at least it's different from the previous version we've uh, been used to, and it's smaller keys. So that is like the new dialer that's coming in there. This too is an app. So almost everything in Windows 10 is an app. So uh, you don't even need to update the operating system. Microsoft can update stuff basically through the store. Speaking of the store, it is pretty much the same right now. It doesn't really look much different, so there's not too much changed here. Um, not really much in the way of new apps. The camera does work. It, uh, it's actually pretty fast. You'll get that blue screen. I've seen that a few times now with different apps. It's a pretty quick one. Uh, this isn't the full you know, Lumia camera 5.0. Of course, it didn't come with the 18T version. It's not out yet, but um, you know, it's your basic. That is the Lumia camera. It's going to be going to all Microsoft phones. So it works pretty well here. You can see it's pretty fast and it, uh, you know, takes the photos. Uh, speaking of photos, you probably have noticed, let's see, when we hit that little photo button, it should go into, oh, it goes into the previous photo. Okay, that's interesting. But you also have the new uh, photo gallery, which if I can find that here. The photo gallery is kind of interesting. It's also the same one that's available on Windows 10. So you basically have all your screenshots here. Uh, there goes the photo that I just took. So it takes a second to refresh, which is a little bit of a different experience. You also have this new menu system down here uh, for sharing, editing, deletion. And you can bring it up there, slideshow, file, info. So you can see the dialogues have all changed. Uh, you know, we've seen this before though in the previews, um, but it is now coming to the rest of the phone. Definitely an interesting choice by Microsoft for some of these decisions. Uh, let's see if we can actually find Cortana because we should be able to pin that to the start screen. And there's a new dialogue as well as you may have noticed. And let's see the different sizes. So we've got tiny and there is